Broadway Balances America brought to you by Broadway Across America, bringing the best of Broadway to a city near you. Okay, time now for our last installment of Broadway Balances America, our series that takes you behind the scenes of some of the most beloved Broadway musicals as they travel across the country to a stage near you. It's been a lot of fun. Today, Balancing Act correspondent Amber Milt is stop in the, in the name, name of love. love. Gosh, I've always <laughs> wanted to do that. We're not very good, but we tried, okay? As she learns how the legendary Barry Gordy turned his life and his love of music into a huge Broadway hit. Yes, and it, it began as one man's story, became everybody's music. Motown the Musical is now hitting the road, and Amber, we understand that you learned just what it's like to become a Supreme. That's right, ladies. Motown the Musical is the true American dream story of Motown founder Barry Gordy's journey from featherweight boxer to heavyweight music mogul. He launched the careers of Diana Ross, Michael Jackson, Smokey Robinson, and so many more. And so I decided to make a supreme effort to see what goes into transforming into one of these legendary singers. So we're backstage at Motown. We're right outside of Crystal Joy Brown's dressing room. She plays the legendary Diana Ross. Let's go inside and see what we got. Hi. Hi, how hey, are you? It's so nice to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you. Please come into my shrine to Diana. Oh, my and the, goodness. And the this is like a palace in here. <laughs> oh, and look, it's the director, it's, Charles. Oh, yes, Charles. Yeah. Very right. nice to meet Great you. To meet you. Yeah. So Diana Ross was named Entertainer of the Century by Billboard magazine. She broke through so many barriers in terms of it being an all-male industry, mostly male-dominated industry. How does it feel to portray this iconic figure? She represents so many things to me, and the, her feminism, her ability to be so strong and still sexy and feminine is something that all women now all pop stars, all women are trying to still emulate. So me having the ability to just do that eight shows a week and hopefully do her justice is a dream come true. You are putting on eight shows a week. It's an incredibly demanding industry. How do you find time to balance your life? This is my second apartment and it's definitely a fun kind of situation where I get to go and do this show, but then also get to go out and do events and, and meet lots of people. So it's a, it's a fine line to balance like a normal life. I don't know if Broadway is ever a normal life, but it's, um, it's an interesting challenge, interesting balance. Everything's a balancing act, especially on Broadway. What do you want people to sort of walk away, who've come to see Motown the Musical, what do you want them to walk away and feel? that you can dream and do anything you want, especially when you're from small town America and you think, I can't do this, I can't be this. Motown's about dreaming. It's about really going for what you believe in and that you can do it. It began as one man's story, became everyone's music, and now everyone can enjoy. I always think of Motown as a movement. It's not just music, it's a movement Physically, it's in the, in the costumes that you saw, in its music, in its politic, and all of it. It really, literally changed the world. And I, I love to see that we're doing it again. Crystal transforms into Diana eight times a week. And I'm about to get one shot at becoming a Supreme. But first, the inspiration behind the costumes. Tell me about these incredible dresses here. What, what was your inspiration? Well, you know what, the Motown legacy, it's more than just music. It involves the clothing, because Motown not only changed the way people looked at music, but they, they also changed the way that people of color were looked at by the world. Because the Motown philosophy was not just music, it was about how you dress, how you act, how you're interviewed, and clothing was a huge part of that. So is one of these your favorite, if you can even pick a favorite out of all of these? Well, you know what, picking favorites is like picking your children. You right. really don't want them to know right. okay. that you have a favorite. <laughs> but for me, my favorite really is this, this red beaded dress. It's from the number four, Remember Me, when she breaks away from Motown and becomes the Diana Ross that the world loves and the iconic knows. But what I love about this dress is that it takes about four weeks just to bead the fabric. Oh my goodness. Each bead is done individually. There's over 100,000 beads in this dress. 
all hand done. I've always dreamed about donning a glamorous dress like this and channeling my inner pop star, especially because Motown wigs play an important part. Okay, so Heather, that wig room was phenomenal. Yes. How many wigs are in the show? There are, um, on stage every night, we put about 150 wigs on stage but we do have about 350 wigs in the theater because all the understudies have their own wigs as well because each wig is custom made for each actor. It's a lace front human hair wig, custom made to fit their hairline and their head size, their head shape and the right hair color. So we have about 350 wigs. So when you put on a wig, do you feel like a different woman? Absolutely, even now just sitting here, I'm like, oh, this is Diana when she's become a lady and she's a per real performer now. Right. It's the Ed Sullivan show and so now it just ha it needs more finesse. And you just naturally, when you when you put it on, you'll feel and your neck, your body just feels different. Right there. We will slide yeah. it back so you can see your face. <laughs> it looks great on you. All right, maybe I was born in the wrong era. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go out there and show them our moves. All right. All right. Let's see this hair, ladies. Let's go supreme it up. We might be hiring any supreme. Oh, yeah, oh. supreme. You're called this Supremes for a reason. I <laughs> feel amazing. Thank you so much. This You're is welcome. like a dream come true. And of course, we've gotta give we gotta give them a little something. A little something for the people at yes. home. Stop in the name of love before you break my heart. Think it over. Oh my goodness, guys, thank you so much. This is just incredible, beautiful costumes. Thank you. I know you guys have a show to get ready for, but uh, this has just been a dream come true. You know, I think I'm gonna leave all of those quick changes and transformations to the professionals, but wasn't it fun to go backstage and step into the world of Motown? You too can groove to the beat as Motown the Musical continues across the country. Just head to our website, click on the Broadway Balances America link, where we'll have all of the show information, tour dates, and more. Watch me now. Hey, boy. Oh my word, how great did Amber look as a Supreme? Amazing. Oh, Let me thank it. Oh. I mean, really, super job. I'm not going to sing anymore. A uh, wonderful series. I'm going to bring that wig over here and have oh, you yeah. sing. Indeed. <laughs> Remember to check out our website, thebalancingact.com. Great information there for you. And don't forget Facebook and Twitter. Look us up. We'll see you again soon. And remember, find your balance. I'll take a picture of you with the wig and I'll Twitter it. <laughs>